Gomez. I've seen little Wednesday looking out the fence at the other children. I think she wants to play with them. Well, she didn't get that from my side of the family. <laughs> school? I never went to school, and look how I turned out. Uncle Fester, looks, charm, and personality aren't everything. <laughs> There's such a thing as learning and accomplishment. Accomplishment? Who else do you know that's 110 volts? <laughs> what? I can even make it blink. You do have natural talent, Uncle Fester. Fester, you're not cheating. I'm sorry. Oh, we saved it from our wedding. It's beautiful. And you made such a handsome couple. <laughs> I do hope my bride will be worthy of all this. I better mail this look. Do you think I ought to send a snapshot along? I believe so. How about that nice one the city took? The time you fell asleep on the park bench and they carried you off to the morgue by mistake. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I, I was thin then and I had hair. I do look better now, don't I? Much. Ready? <laughs> oh, no, Uncle Fester, you're smiling. No, oh, pardon me. <laughs> to show the natural Adam's charm. Got you. <laughs> Much better. Much. Now, now for the character. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, let's see that strength. Magnificent. Now, the pièce de résistance. Your nobility. <laughs> Breathtaking. Oh, hurry, Gomez. Get it before he loses it. All right. Hold it. Hold it now. Hold it. Ready? Fester can do the song with special effects, too. He lights up. Lights up. <laughs> Don't worry about the flickering. We'll have him recharged. <laughs> You'll have to challenge Pomeroy to a duel. No, I'd rather shoot him in the back. <laughs> Uncle Fester, that is not the honorable way. I know, but it's the safe way. Uncle Fester, I'm ashamed of you. And Adams doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. I do. I'll shoot him in the back. <laughs> Uncle Fester, remember the Adams name. It'll have to be a duel. What sort? With victory going to the swiftest, the cunningest, the deadliest. I'll shoot him in the back. <laughs> Wait, how about pistols? Well, that's different. It... Does he get one, too? Naturally. Loaded? You get one bullet apiece. In the back! <laughs> we have visitors. It's Mr. Pomeroy. Little Harold is with him. See, they've come to make peace. I hope not! <laughs> I'll handle this. Remember, you took care of the gas inspector. <laughs> Darling, why don't we handle this together? Said we're going to have a big storm tomorrow. Uncle Fester, I'm bearing my soul to you, and you just stand there casually reading your newspaper. And last year's. I've been trying to catch up on my reading. This is the first quiet moment I've spent in this thing in days. Mama practically lives in it. You know something? She's getting selfish in her old age. Fester, what am I going to do about Lionel? Who's Lionel? <laughs> uh. This girl needs instruction in the art of love from an expert. You? In my younger days, I had women eating out of my hand. A bit messy, wasn't it? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Aim. Fire. I would like 
to be shot, Uncle Fester, not drowned. <laughs> I'm sorry, this must be one of the children's guns. <laughs> But I'll do better next time. You must. It's the only bullet we have. <laughs> now close your eyes. Oh, I looked all over town for you. Pugsley told me you ran away. Are you related to this kid? He's my uncle. Well, can't you see the family resemblance? <laughs> <laughs> Better not miss, Fester. Morticia hates bullet holes in her wall. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm even way down low at the pigeon's feet. <laughs> What's going on down here? Well, if you insist on inviting those barbarians from next door over for bridge, I just want to be prepared. That's just very handy with that gun. He shot a pigeon right through the eye. He wasn't even the one I was aiming at. I don't need practice. Even with my eyes shut, I always hit something. <laughs> but you can relax, Morticia. And Adams never starts trouble. He just gets into it. <laughs> a charge out of this. Right, right. You mean he is full of electricity? Believe me, believe me, they're just playing a little joke on you. A <laughs> joke, huh? Touch! Oh, I'm sorry, Harris, but he did warn you. It'll tingle for a while, but then it'll wear off. I feel so good now, I'm gonna go out and chase automobiles. Wonderful hobby! <laughs> what if I was to go in and do some parlor tricks? Oh, no, no. Oh, I can saw a woman in half. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, yeah, look! It's a pickle. <laughs> the only trouble I have is getting her together again. <laughs> Come on, Fester, get that power going. You want this trash to be a real whopper? I'm too excited to play trains, Gomez. I should go up to my room and pack some things for the outing. But that's tomorrow. It's going to be real neat, exploring a brand new cave. And I'm going to light the way for everybody. <laughs> right as Broadway. <laughs> Gosh, if there is something wrong with me, I hope it's one of those rare tropical diseases. You know, Morticia, something uh, glamorous. I hope so, too, dear. But in the meantime, we must get you well before tomorrow. No, oh, you better go along without me. I'll probably be an outing pooper. <laughs> well, back to the smog. <laughs> now, if you'll just take off your coat, I can start my examination. I never take my coat off. I just couldn't. He's really very modest. <laughs> well, all right, I'll try and work around it. Uh, sit right here, please. Buster? Right. My right dear? Now, open your mouth and say, ah. 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 <laughs> this is most unusual. Your tongue is bright blue. Blue? It's supposed to be green. I am sick. Are you sure this part doesn't call for a taller man? Someone like me? No, cousin, it is perfection. But, Uncle Fester, you could be the understudy. You mean if, uh... Something happens to him, like if he gets clobbered, uh, I could play Claude. Of course. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, we need a little makeup. Makeup? <laughs> oh, Professor, you only got one side. Oh! <laughs> Hurry up, Gomez. 
Are you getting tired, Uncle Fester? No, I like to pose. It's so artistic. Good. I want to get the inner you. Not with that. Well, that's just for carving. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Not for carving you, for carving your likeness. Oh. Let's have the real, the true, the unadorned you. Beautiful. And now for immortality. Don't move. Don't look. Don't even breathe. Don't worry. I don't. <laughs> That's it. Hold it. By Jove, I think I've done it. <laughs> My goodness. You're the Michelangelo of Halloween pumpkins. <laughs> Aunt Singe. Uncle Fester, does that look like Aunt Singe? You mean it isn't? <laughs> it's a horse. Are you sure? Not only a beautiful animal, but smart, too. He can count to ten. <laughs> Big deal. I can count to twenty. The horse didn't go to school. Well, neither did I. A point. Still, I do think we ought to pay our respects and invite her over. Our worst enemy? I'm gonna faint! <laughs> Water! Thank you, Thing. <laughs> What's the matter with Fester? He heard Abigail Adams was in town. I guess the shock was too much for him. You better try my remedy. It always ends as spells. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Do it again. I have it. I shall win our friends over with a demonstration of the Gomez Adams financial wizardry. And can I shoot him in the back? There will be no violence. Count me out. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Mallet. Now, the world is your oyster. Goody! I like oysters. <laughs> you have a date with destiny. <laughs> Those shares are worth 50 if they're worth a penny. It's 50 or nothing. <laughs> what the? Play it cool. He'll call back. Who the devil are you? Let's face it, J.D. You need a man like me. I'm magnetic. <laughs> I'm hard hitting. <laughs> J.D., you will pay 50? <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> Would you have a cigar? <laughs> Thank you, sir. these valuable. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, ladies, hit it. One, two, three, four. One. Tummies in. Shoulders back. Squat. Hit it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on. One, two, three, four. What's he doing? One, it's either dancing to the late, late show or exercising to the early, early show. Isn't that Jack LaLanne, the physical culture fellow? Never heard of him. Come on. Boy, this exercise makes you thirsty. Oh, 
bunch of the bag. <coughs> now, what's the next exercise in that astronaut book that Elaine gave me? Deep knee bends. Deep knee bends. <laughs> All right, you count. We'll start with about 50. One down. Four. I got down all right. You gotta get me up. Oh boy, listen to those muscles expand. Uh, 